Hello everyone, how's it going? So today what I got for you is basically just a bunch of little airdrop news and a couple things that you do actually have to take action on. So let's just get right into it. So Parcel just dropped that their token is coming in April, as you could see here in this tweet. I'll leave this in the description if you wanna look further into it. It shows the supply seven to eight percent, which is pretty good, and it's gonna be solely based on the point system that Parcel has in play, right? I'm currently making a video on Parcel, so I will also have that in the description once I upload that video on how to be qualified for it, but just a little news on that because they will be 100% airdropping a token. And going along with the Parcel airdrop, a main way that people are getting a lot of points is through referral codes because you do get a 5% bonus on top of it. So even if anyone's using your referral code, they're going to get a bonus, you're going to get a bonus. So it's a win-win situation. So I'll have my referral code in the description. If anyone uses it, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. But let's move on to the next thing. Next thing what I have for you is Pyte Staking. Um, they just, so if you're a Pyte Staker, obviously you could vote for governance. And you could see that there is 12 voting or voting proposals out right now so what all you have to do is go to the tab and you just have to press here whatever your vote could be it could be yes or no and then i'm gonna just leave a comment and then vote yes and basically do that exact same thing for all of all of those proposals and for all of your wallets right and it's as simple as that but then what we got after here is a new layer zero thing. So this is a great way to build up a bunch of layer zero transactions really quick. So this is basically just kind of like Merkley, like the gas refuel, but it's layer zero and it's really nice. And you could send it to multiple chains at one time. So what I personally did was I was on Linea and what I did was I selected all the chains that I haven't used yet right and i would put like low amounts so for like oh wait this is the wrong thing this is inscriptions but over here in the gas refuel yeah right here you will be able to put like 0 0.00 like one eth or whatever and it'll show you exactly how much it costs for everything and i would stick to the chains that are cheap like for example here as you can see if i put 0.001 it's only a 12% or 12 cent fee and most of that fee or not fee but most of that cost is just strictly on Arbitrum Nova and the way you could check which chains you have been to or not on layer zero is just from different trackers I know Merkley has a really good tracker for layer zero I know NFT Copilot has a good tracker Wenzer has a good tracker. Honestly, any like slightly paid tracker is gonna be good. So in order to, so you could see which ones you have been to and which ones you haven't, right? Next thing I got for you guys today is there are over here in the Linea activations, this is actually where they have things for, um, to in order to get LXP, right? And as you could see here, there's two quests that offer 150 LXP each. This one does require, in my opinion, a minimum of 0.7 ETH. So I'm personally not gonna be doing it, but I'll go over how to do it. This one's a lot easier. I could show you guys literally right now. All right, so in order to do the first task, what you're gonna do is on this site, you're gonna go to the website, which is Clutch. You're gonna go right down here. Well, first connect your wallet. Make sure you have a bit of gas on Linea Mena as well. And go down here, press on Foxy, and then you press Generate. And then as you can see here, they're current, currently experiencing a lot of demand, which kind of makes sense, a lot of traffic. So it is in queue, and that's all you'll have to do, but make sure you go to the Interact quest for it. Now here you can see the Interact quest. All you got to do is follow and like a couple things on Twitter and then you'll be able to verify that you hold the NFT and then you get, I believe this is actually what gets you the 150 LXP. 
I'm not sure if they airdrop it to you to your wallet or if they do it all in batches yet. I personally did the Linea Park stuff and it still does not have my LXP in. So I'm assuming they're just gonna all do it at once, right? And the last thing I have for you guys today is a way to farm a ton of volume on ZK Sync and actually qualify for three airdrops in one. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to go to Jumper and we you're gonna need Ethereum on ZK Sync. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna swap that over to wrap Ethereum on ZK Sync era. Now, Arbitrum and like Optimism did not count this as volume, but Odos actually has a thing where when they wrap it, it actually does count towards the volume. So, worst case scenario, ZK Sync will not allow this and it won't count towards your volume, but you do generate transactions for ZK Sync and Odos and Jumper. So worst case scenario, you're qualifying for three airdrops in one. So I mean, why not do it? Farm a little bit of volume. And as you'll see here, there's no slippage when you're wrapping ETH, right? And the fee that you're basically gonna have is just, well, one, approving the token, but you could put like a token, or you could put your approval number like slightly above how much you're doing or like, so then you don't have to keep on approving it, but then you're just gonna swap over to Wrapped ETH, and then you're gonna press max, make sure you're pressing the Odos line right there, and then you're just gonna swap it again. All right, six, I'm gonna, something went wrong. <laughs> but yeah, you're just gonna keep swapping there, back, there, back, and it's just an easy, quick way to generate volume with literally zero slippage. Every time you do a transaction here, you're only losing like 12 cents. So this is by far the cheapest, fastest way to farm volume on ZK Sync, and you're literally doing three airdrops in one. So, I mean, why wouldn't you do it? You know what I mean? And actually, last thing for the people that want to see how to do the other Linea quest, like, and the last thing for anyone that does want to do the Linea quest that is the one that does require a bit more uh, liquidity, then I got that right here for you guys. So you're going to go to this website and this is just straight off of the Linea activations on this one where it says 150. What you're going to do is you're going to open a trove. And I personally recommend that you use Wrap ETH on Linea to do this, obviously. And I would deposit about 0.7 wrapped Ethereum to make sure you don't get liquidated because ETH would then need to go down to virtually 1600 in order for you to get liquidated. And personally, I don't see that happening in the next seven days because you do need to keep the trove open for at least seven days. And then, excuse me, then put down a thousand as your borrowing, uh, limit borrow line because that is the minimum you can only borrow a minimum of a thousand that's why we have to have at least 0.7 eth so then you don't get liquidated you don't get liquidated obviously you could do lower but then your liquidation rate is going to be higher or it's going to be your liquidation price is going to be higher so price doesn't won't be able or if price goes down like suddenly we get like a 20 percent market crash then your position could get liquidated and obviously we don't want that <laughs> And then uh, the, ta the second task is you keep that trove open for seven days and you take at least 200 of your LYU and deposit that into a s stability pool. And I would just do a little bit more than 200 just in case because sometimes there's a little bit of slippage or whatever. And then it, it grants you your LXP here. So once you do these tasks, it'll you'll just be able to do it. And then after seven days, return or repay your LYU and then take your liquidity back and then you can do whatever the hell you want with it and then you're done. That's pretty much it for today. If any of you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Um, I respond to virtually every single comment that I see on my videos, so I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And I was thinking of adding like my discord link because i have a discord link where me and a couple people share like information and let me let me know if you guys like want that or like would be interested in something like that because i post in that discord every day before like these videos go live and even before on my twitter so it's like 
if you do want that just let me know but that's all i got for you guys today thank you for all the new subscribers appreciate it a ton we're almost up to like 250 now which is honestly kind of insane to me i would never like never have expected that but yeah just thank you and have a good one